Hey guys, it's Lena here and in this video, I'm super excited to introduce you to Rotary CLS 222. Arturia's virtual software effect based on the sought-after Dynacord Rotary Speaker Emulator. In this tutorial, I'll show you its unique features and explore some of the inspiring sounds you can make with it. Let's dive in. Rotary CLS 222 faithfully captures the swirling analog sound of the Dynacord CLS 222, a classic studio unit that emulated Leslie speaker cabinets for that unmistakable rotating modulation that we all know and love. The original Leslie speaker is a staple in the world of organ and guitar amplification, and the Dynacord unit brought its mesmerizing sound and stereo depth into studios worldwide. Whether you're looking for that vintage flavor or seeking out fresh modulation for your instruments, now you can enjoy that same sound right in your DAW. Before diving into the details, let's hear it in action. Let's take a closer look at the main page of the effect. The interface is intuitively designed, reminiscent of the classic studio unit. It provides you with all the controls you need to shape and customize the effect to your liking. Starting from the top left part of the interface, you'll find four important modules that create the Dynacord signal path. Preamp, Rotary Effect, Speed Control, and Output. The preamp section allows you to adjust the gain and tone of the rotary effect, simulating the characteristics of both the original preamp circuit and our added valve circuit. It's a great way to add warmth or drive to your sound. The drive amount knob controls the input gain of the preamp. It allows you to adjust the intensity of the signal going into the unit. Moving on, there is the Rotary Effect module. This section controls the parameters that shape the rotating speaker sound. It includes the following controls, rotor balance, stereo image, and rotary bypass. The rotor balance allows you to find the perfect balance between the bass and treble channels in the effect. You can emphasize movement in the bass or treble frequencies depending on your preference, giving your sound a unique tonal character. The 
The stereo image controls let you adjust the stereo nature of the effect. You can adjust the width of the stereo field ranging from a mono sound to a wider spread, adding depth and dimension to your audio. The speed control section lets you adjust the rotation speed of the effect. You can choose between slow or fast, or you can set it to stop, letting you quickly switch between types of movement for your sound. Finally, on the right side of the interface, we have the output section. Here you can control the overall level of the effect and apply stereo width adjustments to enhance the spaciousness of the sound. If you're looking to fine tune your sound a little more, we've included an advanced panel in the CLS 222 effect. This panel opens up a world of sound design capabilities, allowing you to shape the effect to fit your unique musical vision. Within the advanced panel, you'll find four modules, input, global speed, distance, and mix. The input module provides additional options for shaping the input signal. You can apply a high pass filter to remove unwanted low frequencies. This parameter controls the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter in CLS 222 signal path. Next up, the global speed module lets you further customize the rate of the effect and even individually control the speed of the effect on bass and treble frequencies at hertz or DAW synced rates, and even set them to ratios of each other for interesting compound modulation. Another module in the advanced panel is the phase, represented by a small display. This switch allows you to adjust the phase relationship between the bass and treble rotors in the rotary speaker. You have four options to choose from. Aligned, where the two LFOs are in phase with each other, producing a balanced modulation effect. Chasing A, where the treble LFO chases the bass LFO, creating an interesting swirling effect. Opposite, where the two LFOs are opposite to each other in phase, resulting in a unique sonic pattern. and chasing B, where the bass LFO chases the treble LFO, producing a different swirling effect.
The phase reset button, on the other hand, triggers a phase reset, allowing you to reset the phase relationship between the base and treble LFOs to their initial positions. You'll notice the visualizer responding to your changes to rate, ratios, and phase in real time, giving you a colorful overview of what's happening to your sound. Next up are distance and mix. The distance module offers precise control over the spatial characteristics of the rotary effect. You can adjust the virtual microphone position, simulating different pickup points and altering the stereo image and depth perception for both bass and treble separately. The bass parameter affects the perceived distance of the bass in the effect. By adjusting this knob, you can create the illusion of the bass sound being closer or further away, adding depth and spatial dimension to your audio. And the same works for treble with the treble control. There's also a parameter here called trajectory. This setting determines the shape of the trajectory of the output signal. You can choose from three different shape options, altering the movement and positioning of the sound within the stereo field and producing some really fun results. The final module is called Mix. The Mix module allows you to fine-tune the balance between the dry, original signal and the wet, processed signal of the effect, so you can go between a blended sound and a more pronounced, saturated effect. That wraps up our overview of Arturia's emulation of the classic Dynacord rotary effect. We hope you enjoyed its signature swirling sound, warm analog character, and upgraded creative features. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to check out our channel for more useful and fun content on our effects and instruments, and drop us a like or a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.